Okay, I have a specialty tool for this. But in this case, I want you guys to be able to duplicate it. Piece of electrical wire. You can grab a pen and take it apart. You can grab a piece of plastic. You can just use your hand if you can hold it loose and without and square enough what I'm doing here. In this case, I'm going to use this tube. And of course, it can, as you see, it's, it's not straight. So I've got to compensate for that to keep it, to allow for this wire to rotate freely inside this tube. With this in mind, I want to talk about equilibrium. I love equilibrium. I don't believe in gravity, so you guys control me on that if you want. Uh, it's, everything can be everything can be um, everything can be answered by equilibrium, including your death can be equal by equilibrium is always taking place. There's only so many elements. The compound elements do not uh, do not really exist in nature. Uh, the compound, I mean, I'm sorry, let me make this clear. And, and, and manufactured goods, the, the, the elements, anything you make of compound elements always want to go back, result, resort back to their original element. They do not want to stay together. Concrete, steel, or multiple elements, they do not want to stay together. They want to fracture and they have tension and compression between them, just like atoms are pushing and pulling. Now, Look at this silly little thing here. You may not... Here's a piece of rebar. So I wanted to put it over top of a couple of things. Here's it, here's it over top of a mat. Watch the wire. Oh, I meant, there it is over a mat. That's giving off an elect, blocking an electrical field, some elements. Watch that. Go closer. And it aligns with the rebar. Look at the shadow. It aligns with the rebar. Now pull away. Okay. So now, here's a piece of rebar. We can look at it. You can see me perpendicular to it, 90 degrees. I come closer to it. I'm not going to move my hand. Look at the shadow. So i got to be careful that I'm not pinning it down the bottom there, which I was. And I'm getting some draw from the other, the other, uh, the shadow. I'm getting some draw from the uh, other elements around of this one back there now pull away wait a minute there's a garden hose you guys can do this yourself la 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 what the hell look at the magic of that see the alignment of it the shadow look at the shadow in the pipe in there now let's go this way it's getting pulled multiple directions at that curve I'm trying to make sure the shadow shows for you guys. And then it lines back up. I'm not doing anything. You can see my hand's not moving. There's a flat, straight, a flat piece of garden hose. Look at the shadow. See the shadow, and you're looking at the wire above. Okay. Here's a string. We are connected with the world around us. Stop thinking that we need to stop thinking that we're just an individual just walking down the street. We are inner, everything we do has an interaction with around us, an electronic, electrical field. It's not for free. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. This wire helps me align with that electrical field that's being blocked either, either from going from the sun or going from the earth. That one, I'm still working on trying to prove which direction it's coming from. There we go again. Do you see that? Which direction is it coming from? Let's go over here. I still have one left. Even this concrete pad will have its own its own field that is interfering with the world. The world's being interfered with. So one way or another, interacting. So here's a chain. Let's do this. So this is loose. Again, you can use a um, uh, the light. Sorry about the white balance. It's called the lighting. So the uh, you can use. Um, Anything you want, a wire, a hanger, you can grab a coat hanger, but this needs to spin freely. And now uh, there we are. Let's see if we can get the, go the other way and get the shadow. Get, put the sun behind me. Here we go. And there you go. Let's see it line up. Now, that's just a piece of wire. No magic trick. You saw me hold, only holding outside plastic, so I wasn't doing any rotation or secret. Interesting, you'll find it always turns counterclockwise 
this always turns counterclockwise. This was the thing that you saw in the video, but you didn't pay attention to, perhaps. You didn't realize it. This son of a bitch turns counterclockwise. These are a couple of things I haven't been able to figure out. Ugh, I can force it to go that way, but look, it want to pull around. You saw that on your own. It wants to go this direction. This direction is east. So it wants to go that direction. So you see which way that is. Now let's see if I can show you. Um, so, so that's east. So let's grab this garden hose. I put the garden hose across it, right? Across the, across this. So you saw it want to go east that way. So I'll come. So you saw it with the chain go that way. So this time I'll approach the hose this way. That would make it north if that was east, right? East in real life. Son of a bitch. As you see, it lines still east in relationship to whatever you're crossing. You guys do that, and I'm still working this in my mind. I've got a few crazy things in my mind, and it's just not, uh, it's things that, I, <laughs> that I'm still working on. Um, and one of them's going to be a magical lifesaver with all the retrofitting of buildings as soon as I get it patented. And, I, and as someone uh, said, I just need to license it. Another engineer wrote me and spoke to me. I think that's the simplicity of it. I just need to license it, not try to protect it. I really don't want to protect it. I want, I want to protect it, but I don't want it to, uh, you know, I wouldn't mind making money off my own, my own patent that deals with a lot of, uh, I can't give it away, but it's the simplicity of it. It's sort of like the craziness in this. Those are those people that say they couldn't find water when they crossed the two dividing lines, dividing line, dividing lines or whatever. Um, so you saw me just do it in a random locations, um, using different products, including this steel, this steel, this rebar, the rebar. So it's around here and I'm just watching it. It's from Portugal. I'm observing this piece of Portugal steel until I decide no longer to observe, observe it. This is a very low grade steel used for, um, so it's going to have a lot of reactions in it, and that's why you get the flaking, scaling, and rust. Not just that it was in contact with concrete, because the whole thing wasn't in contact with concrete. It's just flaking and failing because of the uh, the metals are not are too far apart each other. The quality of the mix is too far apart from each other, and it just wants to deteriorate. The air is not internal. It's uh, getting to this. It's external. If I were to seal this with paint, I would significantly slow it down. Of course, it would be a useless pin. This is not sealed with paint, but yet the, the, the metals are pretty good together. This metal is pretty, pretty strong, too. Some metals, you can do that and they'll fracture. Some uh, rebar, the Chinese rebar. You don't have to send me links to it. You guys can look it up. Um, this can take a hell of a... This metal, even though it's cheap, it can take a lot of uh, impacts. I have been able to grab the longer stakes and fracture them. Um, when I'm looking for them to purchase, I'll grab a stake. And yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll buy the one stake from them. It's three bucks. I'll, I'll slam it. If it fractures, I'm like, I want that shit. Because of course you break it, you own it. Um, so this is an amazing thing. I just want to share that with you. And I won't tell you more about it. I'll let you in the comments try to see if you can guess what else I know about this directional change of metal. So picture a magnetic field. A field, though. That this may is intercepting, or I want you to think about it, interfering with a magnetic field going down, going up, and also um, it, it's uh, the the cross section of it always makes it rotate to the counterclockwise. That's an amazing thing. So that tells you magnetic fields are directional, rotational. Right? They're not. And they're counterclockwise rotational by nature. And interesting, we run everything clockwise by nature. Why are we not running fans clockwise by nature? If it, by nature, it wants to automatically turn clockwise. There's some electricity we're missing here. There's some free electricity missing here. If you remember, Tesla said that the Earth had, and he has never been able to prove it, Tesla said there's some free electric from the Earth. And I believe that's the free electric there, the counterclockwise rotation of magnetism. 
if you can get this to spin, you have a free fan, if you will. If you can throw it out of equilibrium, which, where it's constantly going, okay, got to find it again and keep coming around. I thought I'd show you that. There's perpetual energy out here. Just where is it? Bye.